Auburn police say they now have seen three officers sickened in a new Ford Explorer cruiser. They say this is likely linked to a reported issue affecting police departments across the country. But tonight, Ford is saying, hold on. A in its new statement just released, they say it's premature to determine what happened here, arguing the carbon monoxide level in that car was relatively low. WBC's Ken McLeod is live outside Auburn Police Headquarters tonight. Ken? Liam, even as a third officer went to the hospital with high carbon monoxide levels in his blood, as you mentioned, Ford is urging folks not to jump to any conclusions. However, a third of the department's fleet of Ford Explorers, as you can see, parked here. They have are parked until further notice after CO testing on the air inside them went as high as 40 parts per million. Now, Ford disputes whether that's enough to sicken officers, but Auburn is certainly not the only department making the complaint. This morning's fender bender in Auburn was nothing like the California cop who passed out from carbon monoxide fumes, veered across the road, and wrecked his cruiser two years ago. It was that simple radio call that summoned Auburn comrades to the scene this morning, where the officer described blacking out and rear ending another car at a stop sign. Well, when he told me he passed out, I thought that that could be a, a possibility. And with that, Chief Slucas immediately ordered car. Carbon monoxide testing for all of his Ford Explorer police cruisers and all of his officers. The cop involved in the accident went to the hospital with high levels of CO in his blood, and so did another officer with slightly lower levels. Both will be okay. Obviously, it hinders operations and poses a, a safety threat. Auburn now becomes one of several PDs across the country, with late model Ford Explorers leaking potentially deadly carbon monoxide into the passenger compartment possibly the result of the special interceptor police equipment package that almost all departments add on to them. Officers elsewhere have been overcome and had similar accidents. We've ordered carbon monoxide detectors which will be uh, delivered and installed by tomorrow morning for every vehicle that we have remaining in the fleet. Until then, nine of Auburn's 28 Ford Explorer cruisers will stay parked and officers will use every other spare car available. Ford has built a great product for many, many years. It's been the workhorse of the police industry. Some Ford investigators examined the Auburn Ford Explorers this evening, saying much more study is needed and also saying that drawing any conclusions at this point would be premature. By the way, the woman who was rear-ended by that Auburn officer this morning suffered only a bump to the head, and we're told that she is going to be okay. Live in Auburn tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.